Thank you. And now to a story you'll see only on five shocking allegations of a Glendale Middle School teacher attacking a seventh grade student and the school's brazen attempt to allegedly cover up the dramatic events that followed. The family's attorney says the vice principal of Wilson Middle School tried to get students to delete an audio recording of the attack. Yeah, but that audio survived and it was shared with us tonight and it's a story you'll see only on five. Rachel Menatoff is live in Glendale, where she spoke with the victim's family about the disturbing claims. Rachel. Rick Share, good evening to you both. The parents of this student say their son is pretty traumatized and hasn't been to school since this happened. They told me that since our interview this afternoon, they actually got a call from the vice principal who told them their son's schedule has been changed and the teacher won't be on campus on Monday. Because how can that happen this day and age? This is Edith Nafshadian and Roland Bagdasarian. In an interview you'll only see on five, they allege that their son's seventh grade math teacher hit him across the arm in an unprovoked assault. So I get a text message from him saying, Mom, my teacher hit me. And I'm just thinking, oh, I wrote him, what? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Like, are you messing with me? And he's like, no, Mom, my teacher hit me. This allegedly happened Wednesday at Woodrow Wilson Middle School in Glendale. Nafshadian says her son's teacher initially asked him to stop eating in class. She explains it was when he turned around to confer with a fellow classmate on a math problem that his teacher came up from behind and in a surprise move slapped him. She was shaming him very, very bad, like yelling at him, how, how dare you? Uh, you're, you're bad, you're not, a, you're not a good kid, you're making stuff up. They say in addition to the bruises this young man endured, he was also verbally belittled by his superior for his so-called bad behavior. One student recorded the aftermath of the altercation on a cell phone. I'm not afraid of you or your parent or your lawyer whatsoever. <laughs> You can't hit me. Yes, I can. According to the family's attorney, the student who captured this exchange was told to email it to the vice principal and then erase it from his phone entirely. We need truth, especially when we drop off our kids at schools where we as parents drop them off in a place where they think they're safe. These concerned parents are hoping the district alerts the school community about what happened and makes changes to its policies so this is avoided entirely. Why was she allowed to continue to teach after an assault? You know, she assaulted a child. She should have been escorted off campus pending an investigation. The Glendale Unified School District sent us this brief statement which says we are aware of the allegation and are thoroughly investigating in order to maintain student and employee confidentiality. I cannot comment further. The school hasn't said whether or not it will take disciplinary action, but this family believes the teacher should either resign or be fired for how she handled the situation. We're live in Glendale tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Rick back to you in the studio. All right, more on that to come, I'm sure, Rachel. Thank you. Now